So today I show you a quick tool that is really, really cool when you are starting to learn about the Linux command line. This is it, explainshell.com. It's by Aidan Kamara and you can also find the source code on GitHub. So let's check it out what it does. In the recent video about the zero day in Bash, I quickly brushed over my solution. And because the challenge server was a bit difficult to get files over there, there's this trick you can use for copy and pasting. But it can look pretty intimidating and weird. What, like all these redirections and EOF, like what the heck is going on? So let's see what Explain Shell tells us about it. So the first line of this command is simply this. So let's hit Explain and there we go. So Explain Shell recognizes here three parts. First, cat, then the TMP escape, and then the EOF. So here it just shows you the man page from cat and cat is the tool to concatenate files and print on the standard output. So while it doesn't quite tell you exactly what's like special about the way that cat is used here, it does show you what belongs together. So there's just the cat command. So what does the cat command do? And if you're not sure what a command does, the easiest thing you can do is just playing around with it and see what happens. So if you execute cat, It always seems to output whatever you enter. AA, this is my input, enter, and cut gives us the output back, AA. So cut without parameters, like in this case, will simply take anything that it reads as input and sends it to the output. Okay, let's look at the second component. Before a command is executed, its input and output may be redirected. Redirections are processed in the order they appear, from left to right. Okay, so we have here a redirection and we are redirecting output. The language is here very confusing, but it says here, okay, so this sentence is a bit convoluted, but uh, we can break it up. Redirection of output causes the file whose name, uh, here word, is open for writing. And we can see the redirect and then word. So in our case, we have redirect and then a file name. So this file name will be opened for writing. And what will be written here, specified by the second part here, now we don't have an n here, we don't have a number before it, there's nothing, because n is not specified, anything from standard output, or the file descriptor one to be more precise, is written to that file. Probably most of you know this redirection, right? You know when you use this redirect into a file, you just take the output from the one command and put it into the file. So you probably even knew this, but it just looks weird in the setup with the cut and also this EOF then here at the end, but explain shell just shows you what belongs together. So here we just have a redirection of the output. So whatever the output from cat is, is redirected into this file. Okay, now let's go to this weird double redirection and the EOF thing. Okay, so this is again about redirection. Before a command is executed, its input and output may be redirected. It's exactly the same explanation as with the other redirection. But this time we have a different redirection, but this time it's not an output redirection, it's this here documents. So let's check out what that means. This type of redirection instructs the shell to read input from the current source until a line containing only the delimiter with no trailing blanks is seen. So check this out, you have the two like redirect brackets thing and then word. In our case, it's EOF. It will read anything from the input until it finds an EOF as a single line. You can place some document, some text here, and then the same delimiter word has to appear as a single line at the end. And so this explains how this works. Any input that cut receives is redirected into the file tmpscape.c, and then with this redirection here at the end, we define that we will read any input, the whole document, until it receives a line containing this delimiter, this word here, and so it will put all this text as the input to cut and write it into the file until EOF is found and then we'll stop. And so that's why you can copy this whole text here and just paste it into a shell and that will write all this output into the file. But I mean, it was still kind of a convoluted thing, but let's try something else. So let's see what here this find command does. So find searches for files in a directory. Here you can see the parameters of find. So this corresponds to the path and then it has the type minus F and type minus F means it looks for regular files. And then print zero means print the full file name on the standard output following by a null character. Let's look at this one here. 
True. Okay, so do nothing but do it successfully, all right? And then we see it highlights these two here. So these are AND and OR. AND and OR lists are sequences of one or more pipelines separated by AND and OR control operators. This one here means command 2 is only executed and only if command 1 returns an exit status of 0, which is kind of like defined as the it ran successfully. In an error case, programs should return something non-zero. And the OR list, I guess, is also kind of interesting. Command 2 is executed if and only if command 1 returns a non-zero exit status. And then we have these brackets. So what do they mean? They define a list. A list is simply executed in the current shell environments. All right, OK, so we have here a list of commands. And in the first list, we have one command. And in the second list here, we also have just one command. And then we have here echo. Echo displays a line of text. And then we have here the parameters for echo, which are success or failed. I think this is a really cool and small tool. Oh, there was also a dark theme. That might have been nicer on the eyes. Sorry.